hello traders welcome to another weekly gold xau usd price prediction and analysis video so in this video we are going to analyze gold chart on different time frames and we are going to check important price action levels and important price action structure that currently gold is following so that we can utilize those levels and those price action structure for finding buy and sell opportunities in next week so before going into the price action let's check the latest cot that is commitment of traders report of managed money so if we check the positions of the managed money for uh, this particular week uh, right over here this is the positions of managed money and if we check the change in position column right over here you can see that the managed money is still adding positions into the long so if we check the latest uh, change you can uh, see right over here that they added 7088 positions into net long positions means they adding positions in longs and this time this is a good number but also yes they are also adding into the sort but the number in the sort is not that a uh, big compared to the net long position and overall the net long positions is way higher compared to short position uh, if we analyze the current cot data and if we compare it to the previous cot data uh, in previous months so overall this uh, still a uh, generating bullish sentiment uh, because addition into the longs above 2400 is clearly showing that the managed money is still bullish on gold and if we check the open interest uh, of the managed money for uh, this particular week you can uh, see right over here that the open interest right over here it is uh, not that highest because in 2022 it was around this level so on open interest we can expect that the managed money can uh, you can say increase or add positions which going to increase the net open interest so overall if we combine the sentiment from the open interest and from the cot it is still in the bulls favor so now let's move on to the price action chart and if we check the four hour time frame first let me check the four hour time frame first so as you can see and if we check the volume profile distribution and own four hour time frame uh, we already discussed uh, this chart in a telegram channel and you can see the price after making high near to uh, this level around 2431 right over here and from this bullish rally we have seen this uh, bullish kind uh, bullish flag kind of structure and uh, we have seen a rejection uh, around this level but again at this high volume area gold bulls took support and now finally they break out from this structure and more bullishness is still uh, you can say visible on this four hour time frame chart and the nearby support as per the volume distribution is around this level which is at around 2385 238485 roughly we can say so this is the nearby support so as per the four hour time frame until uh, this uh, or you can say till this support is safe we better have to look for the buy opportunities because the price closed as 2414 and we have seen a good bullish run in friday trading session so bulls can uh, you can say continue this bullish rally toward to uh, a recent all time high which is around 2431 so this is going to play the critical role from here so if price going to break out on higher time frame then more bullish uh, rally or you can say new all time high is uh, you can say possible on gold chart so for our time frame chart is clearly in the bulls favor and we better look for the buy opportunities 
टिल दिस सपोर्ट इज से फोन फोर आर टाइम फ्रेम राइट ओवर हेयर तो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज द प्राइस एक्शन स्ट्रक्चर ऑन फोर आर टाइम फ्रेम एंड इफ यू चेक द ओवरऑल सिनारियो ऑन हायर टाइम फ्रेम ऑन ऑन वीकली टाइम फ्रेम दिस इज द वीकली टाइम फ्रेम यू कैन सी राइट ओवर हेयर तो ऑन वीकली टाइम फ्रेम वट इज द सिनारियो दैट वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट फॉर अपकमिंग वीक्स एंड फॉर अपकमिंग मंथ तो एज यू कैन सी वी हैव सीन ए गुड बुलिस रन एंड आफ्टर दिस वी हैव सीन सम रीबाउंड रीबाउंड फ्रॉम हेयर एंड गो इफ वी चेक द प्राइस एक्शन फॉर्मेशन वी कैन कंसिडर दिस एज ए ट्रेंड लाइन बिकॉज इट इज स्टिल इन द higher high formation so gold uh, price took support at 2 uh, 2 double 2 uh, 77 and after this it is now moving into the higher side so if bulls able to break out uh, the recent swing high around 2431 then and if weekly candle close above this high then uh, we can expect that bulls can uh, make new high around uh, this area so this area is around or you can expect it uh, is uh, forming or you can say we can expect a zone around 2475 to 2550 yes this is a big zone because we have to wait for the confirmation from uh, this particular zone and this can uh, possible as per this uh, wave so around this level 2475 to 2550 we can expect some decline in june uh, mid or june second week and then we can expect a decline so this is what i am expecting on a weekly type time frame and we have to wait how price going to uh, follow uh, this this scenario and on on fibonacci if we draw the fibonacci on for a one day a time frame you can see that the gold price after making high at 2431 we have seen a, a correction but this was a short term correction so after making low around double two double seven and after rejecting one time from two three seven two gold price again uh, break out this level so this is showing that bulls are aggressively you can say going into the higher side and now it is moving near to all time high and as per the fibonacci the nearby first resistance is around 2473 yes if day candle close about to previous high then this uh, level is achievable as per the fibonacci levels and after this we have to wait how price going to reject so only resistance uh, that is available for peers is 2431 so if we see some rejection Uh, then only we can look for sell but i think we have to look for buy till this uh, low is safe around 2372 so we have to wait okay for sell but for buy i think it's good to go into the buy as per the current closing so these are the different scenarios that we can expect also as per the pivot placement the next week pivot is forming ascending structure and the next week pivot is at 2389 or roughly 2390 so above this it is going to be in the bulls favor and the first immediate resistance as per the weekly time frame or as per the weekly pivot the weekly resistance is at 2447 roughly 2450 and we have to wait for uh selling opportunities for scalping if we see some rejection over to this level and the next r2 weekly resistance 2 is at 24 at 0 2480 where we can look for the sell 
So above to weekly pivot, which is at 2389, we are going to look for the buy opportunities only. And for the next week, what are the important data that we have to look for? On Monday, we have Fed Chair Powell speaks, and on Tuesday also, we have some uh, Fed Chair Wallen speaks, and on Wednesday, we have existing home sale data that we have to watch and on the next day we have FOMC meeting minutes that is going to put high impact lesser or we can see high impact volatility on uh, this day and on this data on Thursday we have initial jobless claim and then we have building permits on Thursday we have manufacturing PMI on Thursday and then new home sales data also on Thursday. On Friday, we have durable goods right over here. Durable goods order is also on Friday. So there are number of fundamental data that we have to watch uh, carefully. So we are going to discuss more about the levels uh, for buy and sell in live trade uh, live trading session in live telegram channel. So see you there. Thank you.